Hey, this is Chad with EasyParentalControlTips.com. I'm going to show you how to set up a safe search uh, in Google and set it up so that it is permanent, um, so that your kids can't unlock it or anything like that. And what do I mean by safe search? Let me explain that real quick here. If you go to Google uh, and you type in the word hell, that's a simple, easy word. Notice over here on the right-hand side, underneath the instant uh, is on is safe search search strict and you can set that to moderate strict or whatever um, there but if you do the strict you get kid friendly or at least more kid friendly searches rather than especially if you were to do moderate or off and the disadvantage of the setup is that your kid if he knows anything about Google can come over here and turn this off and then your searches are not as safe so if we want to lock this so it's always strict I'm gonna show you how to do that go over and log into Google now you're gonna need a Google account to do this so uh, if you don't have that just click sign in uh, right over here and uh, click on once you've done that go to settings your search settings scroll down a little bit and you can set your settings here but you can also lock safe search now this is a new feature for Google so we're gonna click on lock safe search it's gonna ask you to re-sign in and then you just click lock safe search all right once that's done you'll notice that they're highlighting these big green yellow red and blue balls on the right hand side what this indicates is that yes your searches are being uh, filtered through their safe search and to put this in more practical terms let's go back to Google and let's type in our word help and notice on the right hand side here you've got these big balls so if you're sitting on the other side of the room and you want to know hey is my kid being filtered you can look over here and easily see these big green red yellow and blue balls and this is how you set up Google now what are the downsides what are the ways to get around this and there's reasons to know this as parents first of all you may not want to be filtered here so instead of going in and um, unlocking this and going through that process what you can do uh, is open up another browser and I'm gonna bring over here Google Chrome and type in the same word help now this is a different browser I was using Firefox you can use Internet Explorer and Firefox or you can use Google Chrome and Internet Explorer however you want to do that and type in the word help notice that there is no uh, search settings here on this browser so to lock this browser we'd have to do the same thing go into sign in go into search settings and do the same steps but you could set your kid up on one browser and let them search on that one and you search on another one now this of course only works on younger kids uh, the other issue I have with this and this is just a matter of opinion if I type in the word girl okay this is under safe search um, we go through here and it's pretty tame you know games for girls or whatever but if you go to the image searches it's not so tame okay you can see right at the beginning that even under their safe search you can clearly see safe search is locked uh, that's not the image results I want for my kids to see so yes you can set up safe search I'm showing you how to do that and that does help the searches but let me just say that the searches are so bad Google's not doing a good job okay they're under a lot of pressure from uh, from businesses and stuff not to really be effective in their safe search so yes set up safe search for your kids is that enough I question whether it is I would recommend a product like safe eyes um, click on the link um, on this website and you can go directly to the safe eyes and order that software and what that will do is prevent these pictures from showing up it'll filter that for you and does a thousand times better than Google search alright this is Chad with easy parental control tips dot com don't forget to sign up for the emails and get your tips emailed directly to your email we have 50 of them lined up ready to go and you'll get those every few days and you can work through those tips on how to make your home safer on the internet talk to you soon